Hey guys, in today's video we're finally going to see how Devise works, but before we do, I want to bring our attention over to devise.in.yaml. Now this is the page where all your error messages come up. So whenever you sign up successfully and you see the green, you've signed up successfully, well that's where they get the, the sentence from. So if you have any sentences or any error, error warnings that you want to change such that they say something different, then you can change that here. Now I want to bring your attention over to device helper. This helper will allow the, the app to pretty much prettify, that isn't even a word, but it allows it to prettify the, the sentence so that if you have more than one error, then it'll say you have, it'll say, it'll say you have like, there are five errors in your form. Otherwise, it'll just say there are five error in your form. So it really helps you format your sentence for plurals and singular if if grammar is uh, of importance to you. But you would keep that in your helper's device helper. You would probably not have this file in your application, your project right now. If not, then you should create a device helper and put this code in there. Or you just take it from the zip file that I have at the end of all my videos. Another thing I want to go through is I want to bring your attention to development.rb. We're actually going to change this to involve our mailer because we can't send any mail if we don't have our action mailer configured. So you can see the username and password in these two sections. I just want you to fill it in with your own credentials. And I'm just going to pause the video. Okay, so what I did is I paused the video and I filled in those two areas where it said username and password. So what I want to do now is I want to go to our sign up form and actually try signing up. So let's go my, let's give it a first name Donnie and let's give it a last name Dawson. And the email would be dd1234 at millinator.com two three four five six seven eight is our password because well it need requires eight uh, eight characters and let's just make an error so you can see that I made one error and it says one error permitted this person from being saved but if I just sign up with nothing then it says the password can't be blank um, let's give it six characters then it'll say that your password is too short um, and you can just play around with it but let's just give it a password of eight characters and we'll sign up and now it's working so you can see that a message with a confirmation link has been sent to your email address and if we go to our email with dd1234 you can see that it sent a confirmation uh, instruction so that's all I wanted to go through with for, with you guys today um, if you know if you forgot your password then you could or if you didn't get the email confirmation you could resend your confirmation go D one two three four and send it again yeah so then if we go back to this email and check it again then you should get two emails one for the original confirmation one for the resend of confirmation just click on the confirmation to confirm your account and your email address has been successfully confirmed and if you look into your database I have my SQL workbench and then you click this Thunderbolt you can see that we've been Donnie Dawson have been have been created so that's all I want to go through with you guys today. I hope you guys learned something. If you enjoy these videos and what I'm doing, then please, uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. Leave your comments and questions in the comment section below. And if you have any ideas that you want to pass through me, then you can reach out to me at coursehack.gmail.com. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.